Okay, I'm bored. You're bored. Let's get this over with. Now, while that's all resolved, the practical exam has just begun, and Deku dashed out which to the city. Actually, surprising everyone, especially Ida, considering, yeah, Ida needs a little, some time to really pick up speed. Which he catches up to Deku, and he starts to run off in the other direction. Deku's, huh? He's pretty fast. That's that's pretty cool. I, I can't lie. In which Deku he keeps running until at least he comes up with two three pointers. And he's like, oh, this is gonna be so much fun. And he picks up one of them by by his leg and swings it into the other. Surprising everyone, he almost hits one of the buildings until he actually is able to run fast enough to catch it. Which, like, what the fuck just happened? Everyone's, especially the teachers and Nezu's, like, wait, what's this kid's quirk? I'm just like, I'm wondering, like, what is this kid's quirk, man? So, as that was, um, it's called Berserker King, I think. It's it's a, kind of like a multiplier as well as, you know, uh... Wait, what? What, what is it? Apparently he can actually transfer his power to other people through this mist he emits. And if he wants to, he can actually control that person. Oh my, here's just... Uh, what? Yeah, looks like he can actually amass an army if he... Um, Releases enough of it. Oh my, he he gets a bead of sweat going down his face. Like, is he is he a, a, a spy? As he was like, D don't be ridiculous. Well, I can tell. I have done some digging after knowing where his quirk is, and if anything, his mother had primed him to be a hero and. Nothing more, nothing less. What? Yeah, she realized the extent of his abilities and urged him on to be a hero. Which, oh my, he feels a, a tad bit better. It's just the fact that, yeah, this motherfucker can literally amass an army in mere moments if he trains hard enough. <laughs> While Deku, he is racking up points, and I mean points among points in this practical exam. Just amazing everyone. He saved people. He destroyed several robots. But what really surprised him is when a, he unzips his shirt and a huge ass wolf just hops out of him and starts destroying more robots with fire as well if it's as its brute strength which oh my like motherfucker he's lying he he must have more than one quirk as I was saying um apparently he his quirk evolved or something because he doesn't say anything about this on it on his uh, sheet and this is he's a uh, uh okay that's interesting. They're seeing this wolf tear through several robots like it's nothing. When it's about to get hit, it turns into complete fire and engulfs a three-pointer, melting it down into a puddle of metal. Everyone is amazed yet terrified of what Deku did. And even more so when they see him using fire throughout his whole body, running through robots like a knife through butter. Like, yeah, they're like, if, if we stay close to him, chances are we're, no one's going to get any points. So let's, let's go over here, let's go over here. Trying to avoid Deku, he starts scaling walls. He just going from building to building like it's nothing. Until he actually hears a scream and feels a rumble 
what the hell he looks and sees a zero pointer and all of its glory it's like oh this is gonna be so much fun but then he notices why someone was screaming yeah he sees Jiro stuck under some rubble like oh okay that that makes more sense and he runs as best he can to Jiro Okay, so what happened here? Uh, building parts of it fall, and I need help. Wait. Okay then. In which he just closes his eyes, just to show some glowing red, crimson red eyes, and some mist actually leaving his body and surrounding Jiro. And when she is losing her shifts, thinking, oh my god, is she going to kill me? What's he going to do? What's he going to... And she breathes in the mist in which her body bulks up. Her ankle is healed. She tosses the rubble off herself. And, yeah, she's pretty much like, what did you do to me? Deku opening his eyes, just looking at her. And that's all. Or at least, I helped you out. Yeah, no doubt. Just look at me. I'm, I'm like a bodybuilder. Why'd you? And then is there a point? Throws it, it fist at her, and she catches it. Like, whoa. Um, I didn't know I. Why, why did I do that? Mm, Reflexy. Yeah, it's kind of like a fight or flight response when it comes to my quirk. Either you retreat or you stand your ground and in this case it's like you stood your ground <laughs> she, she's looking at him like thank you so much and she starts to squeeze her hand actually crushing his ear point his fingers wow this is awesome this ear point throws his other hand and this time Decker catches it you know what I like you like, she blushes, it's like, like, you like me? Yeah, now let's beat this thing together. She's, right, right, they both caught by their fists and do a double fucking Detroit smash. Like, they don't say that, but still. And obliterates the zero point, shocking everyone, shocking the participants, shocking Ida, shocking Jiro, shocking All Might and the other teachers and Nezu in the observation room. They're looking straight at Deku. Like, I don't care what happens. We need this kid at this school. If we don't, another school's gonna snatch him up. Or he's gonna turn bad. It's like, this is like, I told you his mom made sure. How can you be so certain? Look what he did. I, I, I don't know, but you. <sighs> I don't want to take no chances. Make sure he's in this school. I know he's gonna be in your class. Just in case some some bad shit goes down, he's gonna be in your class so you can keep you under control. Bitch, you ain't the principal. You don't tell you what to do. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just paranoid because I think this kid is stronger than me. What? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see his expression? He, he was having the time of his life. If, if he does have a berser berserker quirk, does that usually mean he has to get angry? Or use that rage? He was completely calm and enjoying himself throughout the whole exam. So, I don't even think he used his fucking multiplier. They're, they're thinking about this. Midnight definitely is like... Oh, so he's packing that he packs that much power. I wonder what else he has up his sleeves. They're looking at her like Woman, he he, he he's a high school student. Have, have some morals, have some standards, girl. Like, don't don't y'all judge me. Don't y'all fucking judge me. Whatever, just this. This is weird. Just no doubt. This. This is just weird. 
<sighs> yeah, yeah, I'll just get away. President Myers just he he was just uh, stunned at what he saw, and hearing their conversation, he's he uh, he forgot like, oh wait, um, I'm so, um, this is over. Y'all can go home now. And Deku and Gerald, they they just walk walking together, so just talking it up, and Gerald just asks like. Do you really like me? He was like, yeah. Hell, you're you're pretty cute, no doubt. She blushes like they just think he's like he thinks I'm cute. <laughs> yeah, his, his shirt is still unbuttoned or unzipped, and she's looking at the ice tray of abs that he he's sporting. He's like, and he just like he he knows this is like, hey. My eyes are up here. Hey, pay attention to my eyes are up here. Like, say, oh, I'm sorry. Man, is that, is that, is that what, is that how it was like when, uh, guys look at your boobs? Well, she's like, she blushes. <laughs> she's supposed to slap him, but she's like, wait, is that, is that really fair? Because I was staring at him. She, she's thinking this. She puts her hand down. Then she, uh, she looks at what, what she has is for Bruce. She's a little embarrassed. No, no guys really pay attention to my boobs. Like, why? Um, well, I can see they go great with your figure. Well, she just socks him in the face, saying, Shut up, you idiot! Uh, what? I'm. What? I'm, be I'm being serious. I. I think you're very cute. She's just starting to punch him more and more and more. It's doing nothing. Think of it. Think of it like when Yujiro and Baki first fought. When Baki was giving his all, punching Yujiro in the face. <laughs> it just Yujiro just just standing there like, Ugh, are you dumb bitch? Just just think of it like that. <laughs> And Jill, she, she's constantly punching him, telling him to shout out to you, Baka. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, but you know, I was I was told to be honest, and honestly, I think you're very cute. Yeah, she starts punching him, but she just runs off, reds the tomato, and Ferris is all hell. Deku, he's talking to hell, and I was like, was that too much? Oh, 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 so as soon as you started talking about our boobs, that wasn't too much, but calling her cute was too much? Yes! You, you passed you passed the line of too much a while ago, ever since you said that you liked her. Oh. Well, I was just being honest. Yeah, you need to, you need to work on your honesty. Either way, we got work to do. What do you mean? Well, we gotta wait for your acceptance letter, don't we? Might as well do some training, maybe find that animal you need. Good point. Now, let me think. Let's see if we can find a animal with a nature-like quirk. Because, technically, if it can... Like, think about it. Hmm, what are you talking about? Ah, uh, idiot. Wait, you you calling me the idiot? Who who just spent like two or three minutes getting punched by a girl after calling her cute? Whatever. Either way, yeah. Well, what kind of ammo do you think it's gonna be? Only one way to find out. We gotta start hunting. We. Oh yes, I'm definitely gonna be hunting with you. Um. I don't know how to say this, but you're not exactly stealthy. What? What is that supposed to mean? You are not very stealthy anymore. In case you haven't noticed, you are a hulking, flame coated, as well as stone bearing wolf. Yeah, good, good point, but. I could at least be your extra set of eyes, right? <sighs> I, I guess. 
but still. Yeah, whatever. In which, yeah, they're they're waiting for the to just sick just later. Inko, she, she's just so happy that yeah, he he's keeping his word, not going after any other court animals. But she does notice he's going hunting every single day, only returning at ten o'clock, empty-handed. <laughs> Like, oh, still haven't found you. still haven't found a healing animal. Deku's a woman. Not now. I I, I refuse to admit defeat. So, yeah, yeah, whatever. Just just remember I will embarrass you if you break your deal. You break our agreement, boy. <laughs> yeah, I I remember. And he just go he goes to bed. Up until he actually finds something. Something quite interesting. And that is where I'm gonna end this part off. Yeah, yeah, I know you guys don't like cliffhangers to what it's gonna be, but still. I won't always do fucking cliffhangers because I hate I hate it when that happens too. Especially when it comes to a show I like. But I don't, I won't do them all the time because seriously that that gets old, doesn't it? It's get it's get kind of boring. Like oh like oh this bastard, you dare do cliffhangers all the time? In which done right, cliffhangers are pretty pretty damn fun. Just as long as you don't really do it over and over and over again to the point where it gets tired and boring. Yeah, that that is a real pain he has to deal with sometimes. Believe me, I know. I I've watched a lot of TV in my time. As you, if you don't know, I have watched a lot of television. Anyway, I am out. The peace and the love, children. <laughs>